Hi, this is John Flynn. This is Copley Advertising. And today we're going to talk about the new king of intellectual thought in recruitment marketing, Mr. Ted Bear. Ted Bear, yes, one of my new heroes I found yesterday. So few here, we sit in the darkness of recruiting marketing. There's a light shine out and we see, we see the truth being spoke. And this time we saw it from Ted Bear over at Recruiting Daily, which is not known for its forward thinking. But we have Ted, yes. So Ted wrote this great article. You're gonna, you know, read the summary here, is that, that at the end of it, he goes, it's, it's not necessarily surprising that many corporations aren't prepared for the new wave of recruitment marketing uh, because of the 3.8%. I'm going to paraphrase here, so this is all, not all his words. 3.8% unemployment and 2.2% raise in salary in the last quarter. But still a bit terrifying. 45% <laughs> of firm marketing leaders don't even control their budget. <laughs> come up with ideas and they have to like get approval from somebody who has no idea what marketing is. Well, that's great. 87% <laughs> of global staffing and recruiting firms do not have a chief marketing officer. Nearly three quarters, 75% of global staffing and recruiting firms do not have a vice president of marketing. Recruitment is marketing, right? That's like commandment number one. <laughs> Recruitment is marketing. The game has changed. It's been 10 years and it's over. Okay? Your chance of putting it through a help wanted sign in a window and getting 50 people, qualified people coming in the next day is not going to happen. I read this great article. I thought it was great how uh, it was very rude because candidates were ghosting um, recruitment officers. Uh, and then uh, calling them back. Yeah, I wonder where they learned that trick from. <laughs> that would be you and the corporations start on that. Yeah, you've been messing with these people for a decade. Now it's over. You better get it together. Change the way you're thinking. Yeah, and stay away from that indeed.dumb. Okay, that's stupid. You're wasting your money getting... Uh, Forty-five percent of respondents said that the firm's marketing leader does not control the budget. Why? Forty-six percent of respondents said the firm does not have a cohesive marketing strategy in place for a year ahead. Right? We're already eighteen's done, right? But we don't have even nineteen in the books yet. We have no idea what we're doing in nineteen. We have no idea. We have no idea how we're going to do recruitment in nineteen, besides the ineffective way that we're doing it right now. Because <laughs> we don't even have a vice president of marketing. Or if we did have vice president of marketing, he's not, or her, he's not in charge of the budget. <laughs> Probably some horrible HR person. <laughs> like, or, or worse, a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> the top three tactics as being allocated for a higher budget year after year include social media presence, organic, email marketing and job boards first of all okay first of all it's going to be a 50 percent increase in job boards <laughs> indeed dot dumb career blunder and the rest of them are stealing from you they're thieves they don't do what they say and what they, whatever technology they're putting together is an absolute travesty. By you using them, you're depending on inefficient technology. Inefficient technology. And that lets you lean on it and think you're doing something when you're not. You're just sinking in a quagmire. Right? It's much better to have your own platform, build on it, and do it the way we do it. Okay? Which is through mobile marketing, Facebook advertising and retargeting, and email marketing. We do all three. That way, when somebody lands on your page from traffic driven or by us or somebody else, 
They're either going to be captured with the Facebook ID, hopefully their email, but if it's from us, we're going to have a retargeting ID that we can hit them in a mobile again. And then we're going to experiment with demographics, we're going to experiment with income, we're going to experiment with all kinds of things to make sure that the campaign is working at maximum ROI. Maximum. All right? We, got, we do it in real time. It takes no time at all. We could break out 10 ad sets and see what's going on, right? We, we gear to the marketplace, and then you, when you get the client in, you better be nice. <laughs> you better be nice to those clients when they come in because 40, no, I'm sorry, 80% of the clients post on social media their interaction with you during their interview. 80%. Now listen, organic SEO. I'm a big proponent of organic SEO, but you know how long organic SEO social media takes? Probably like the life of a dog. <laughs> in years, in years, in years, right? It's great. It's the best traffic, one of the best traffic you can get. It's organic, they stay in a site longer. I get it. It's wonderful if I have. I have it. I have an SEO team. You know what I do with my SEO team? I put them in a corner, right? I pay them, and that's it. I don't even talk to them, right? They send me a weekly report, and I'm like, because I know how this game it works. It just goes over backlinks, posting again and again. But we're talking years, right? That's not even going to help you with your, you know, short-term or even long-term problems. And email marketing. Right, email marketing is good, right? If you're doing it the right way, right? You wanna be a trust agent, you wanna give content, right? You wanna do things like that. You wanna be a thought leader, you wanna help people. How do you get a job in this industry? So if they go someplace else and get a job, that's fine, right? Because they're gonna say, wow, I just learned from Joe's website how to get a job. Really, Joe's website sent you here? Well, you know, they taught me how to do it and I wound up here. Wow, that Joe's. Joe's place sounds pretty cool. If I need a job, I'm definitely call him. See? You're a thought leader, right? You're gonna give quality content. You're gonna get inbound leads, right? You're gonna build a whole system, right? Whole system that's gonna be cheaper than you got and about a hundred times more effective. And you're gonna have a short-term fill-in of all the needs you want, well, the needs you want, and then a long-term tail of candidates that you could reach down in the candidate river and pick some out. It's gonna take time, but we can get it up, get it going, and then, you know, you're gonna see immediate stuff, and then we just keep that train going down the track. Choo -choo. The recruitment marketing train. <laughs> Captain by Copley Advertising. Job boards. Please, I beg, beg of you, no more job boards. Anyway, that's from our friend Ten Bear, hero of the day, remarketing recruitment person of the week. John Flynn, Copley Advertising.